I know it's been a while uh, since I filmed the hair video, but, and obviously I have braids right now. And um, I figured since I've had these braids for a couple weeks, unfortunately I didn't film uh, me getting them done just cause I knew that was gonna be a long process and I just didn't wanna go through the process of filming that. But it's been about two or three weeks since I got these done and uh, you know they look pretty pretty worn right now so i figured i needed to refresh my scalp a little bit now i preach and preach about you know making sure you oil your scalp and all this stuff and apparently i don't practice what i preach because i have not taken good care of my hair since these braids have been done i did for maybe the first two or three days and then i just let it go i ain't been sleeping with no scarf no, nothing, as you can tell. So I got this uh, Cantu root relief stuff. I actually thought it was the root rinse this whole time. I had it so that I could like rinse and refresh my scalp, but I don't have that. This is what we have. So this is what we're gonna use. I've actually had this for about a year since the last time I had braids and I never used it then either because I'm horrible at taking care of my hair properly when I have braids, apparently. So I know now. It's supposed to soothe itching and irritation, refresh scalp without washing or water, nourishes roots to promote healthy hair growth, and conditions and soothes the scalp. My scalp has been itching like crazy the past like week, so definitely you gotta do something like really fast. Made with apple cider vinegar, peppermint oil, and shea butter. A deeply cleansing yet nourishing cocktail that refreshes and soothes. Whether you're wearing weave, locks, braids, or extensions, soothe your scalp, stop the itching, and calm the tension. Okay, seems easy enough. Remove cap from nozzle to dispense product. Dispense a small amount into hair at root. Do not rinse style as usual. I'm gonna try this out and do this and I am also going to oil my scalp like I always preach to you guys I'm gonna actually oil my scalp because it needs it really bad and then I'll probably do some to these edges so that they not you know it's looking crazy out here like this oh I think it's like a it's like a gel Ooh. yeah it's like a gel like I like watery. Okay. It feels good. Y'all, this actually feels really good. I'll just, I'll just rub it in to my scalp here. I guess it's kind of good that it was sort of a gel consistency because it's not um, like drying out my scalp. I am still going to grease my scalp though. I'm going to oil it. Not grease it, but I'm going to oil it. That was easy enough. That was actually a lot quicker than I thought it would be. And it's funny because my scalp is actually itching a little bit in the process, but that's just because my scalp has been itchy. I think that I have a normally itchy scalp, honestly. I'm starting to really think that, or a dry scalp. So I have to work on um, being a little bit better about taking care of my hair and my scalp. Yeah, I bought it last year. And um, I bought it last year when I was, I was still pregnant. So I was nine months pregnant and I had got braids. And, um, I had got this, I'm like, I wanna make sure my scalp is good. Instead, I never used it. I was just scratching my hair all the time. Like my hair was itching towards the end and I really should've used it, but you know, better late than never. But also, I know y'all see these other two things behind me here. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna oil my scalp. This is actually um, apple cider, not apple cider vinegar. Jamaican black castor oil. Um, 
the Jamaican lime and um, Jamaican lime and mango brand. And I think this is the one with no, this is the one with tea tree oil in it. Um, and I just bought this um, little dispenser from the beauty supply store for $129. I think that's a little bit more expensive than it should be, but it is what it is. So um, I bought this just because it's a lot easier to, I'm sorry y'all, it's just something up on this bottle. Okay? I just feel like it would be a lot easier for me to actually get the oil on my scalp versus the content, the bottle it comes in, it's just a regular like bottle and you usually just pour it in your hand and wipe it together and do like that. But I prefer to get it on my scalp. Ooh, that does feel good y'all. Hmm. I'm probably only gonna have these braids for another week or two because you see they you know it's starting to look a little bit rough so with this oil when i do remember to do it i just put it just on the, my scalp i just kind of squeeze it on there the same way that i just did the uh root relief stuff i usually do it with this dispenser here they have um all kinds of that oil at Walgreens. They have a beauty supply store too, and I'm pretty sure they have it at Target. Um, it's like $8.99, I want to say. But so this is the one with tea tree oil in it. They have one with peppermint oil that I usually get. Um, what else? They have one with lavender. They have some with like hemp um, in it. Just all different kinds. Just for a good price too, I think. Definitely not, you know, as expensive as. Uh, if you were to like, um, if you were to watch my video on the Pattern Beauty line, and I kept saying that I wasn't about to get their um, oils because they were twenty five dollars, yeah, no. And also with this, what I like to do, I'll just pour a little bit on my hand, like that much, not too much, and I just kind of go down the braids, just where my hair actually is. Just so that my actual hair can get some oil too because my actual hair gets really dry too and it's probably really really dry in between these braids but you don't want to put too much on the braids where it weighs your braids down or like your braids feel greasy as far as my edges go i'm gonna use this edge booster i actually did use it um if you look at my birthday vlog, I did use it for my sleek ponytail. I probably won't ever use it for that again though because my hair was very stiff. So I have a really old video about doing a sleek ponytail and that's very more, it's a lot more in depth of how it's done. So you literally, you part your hair and then you put some gel down and smooth it down. You keep on parting your hair like that. Honey, I did that with this and the middle of my hair was so stiff. like. There's no way that there's any other style that you could do with your hair. After that, it has to be washed out. I kept my hair in that ponytail for about a week. It actually comes with like this little spoon on there, which is kind of cool. Now, and you do need a scarf uh, to lay down your edges. If y'all have been watching my videos for a while, I'm sure you recognize the scarf. I haven't used it forever, but I lost my black uh, silk scarf. I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, I'm just gonna get my hair out the way. Okay. So I'm not going to use the spoon. Okay, but you see how thick it is. Like, I don't know. It's super thick. So I'm really not going to need much for my edges. Y'all, I say this all the time, but I'm not, I'm not an expert at doing edges. So my edges are not going to be, you know, like looking super, super nice, but they'll at least be smoothed down and also i will say too so the first time i tried to get this i actually got the um edge booster uh edge control and that actually left white residue on my edges but also i think it's hard for me to do my edges because my edges came out a lot like right after i had the baby This scarf is kind of huge. Okay. 
smile, like how long this scarf is. It looks, it just looks crazy. Uh, I will be back in about 10 or 20 minutes after my edges are set and uh, we'll just see how they came out. So it's been about, it's been like 10 minutes, I wanna say. Hopefully they set by now, I don't know. You know, honestly, whatever. They are good enough. I told y'all I'm not a master at laying edges, but they laying down. So I know, um, this was a very short and prompt to video, but you know, I just wanted to come on and just give y'all some content. I'm trying, I'm trying to be more consistent. I'm trying. So yeah, but thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.